Harry Kane has been an elite goalscorer for both club and country. He has won the Premier League Golden Boot three times and was also the first Englishman to win a Golden Boot at a World Cup since 1986. Despite this, Harry Kane has been linked with some big money moves away from Tottenham in previous seasons. Lots of people outside of the Spurs fan base adamant he needs to leave the club to better himself and win trophies. Harry Kane has been a Spurs first team player since 2009 and has been heralded by their fan base. The most recent pursuers of the goal scorer are Bayern Munich. They see him as their number one target and by going he would be guaranteeing himself trophies. This although leads to the question, does Harry Kane really want to move to Germany? Before I get into that, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for lots more content. Football Manager has become an elite tool for pro clubs. It has become so advanced that they use around 1300 scouts to try and make their database as authentic as possible. Real life managers have also started to use the game to help their clubs in the real world. Will Still, Wayne Rooney and also Jose Mourinho have said that they use the data to sign players. So what does football manager think Harry Kane should do? Does he really want to go to Germany? So using the wonders of Football Manager 2023, I have locked Harry Kane into a contract at Tottenham Hotspur until 2029, predicting that he will end his career pretty much at Tottenham. Uh, looking at his stats in this version, he's now 35. He's an elite striker still. He's played 150 times for England, scoring 82 goals. In terms of his Tottenham career, he's played 502 and scored 254. Looking at the stats, a few of the physicals have now started to fall away with things like pace being 10, acceleration being 9, but still deadly in front of goal. And his current ability is 155. If we go to his biography to see, does he win any trophies? And the answer is yes, he does win some trophies, which is quite strange because Tottenham generally don't win trophies. Uh, he has lifted the European South American Super Cup for England, the Carabao Cup in 2027, the FA Cup in 2029, the Europa League in 2028 and the European Football Championships with England in 2024. In terms of his individual recognition at Tottenham, Premier Division top goal scorer on three occasions, so he hasn't added to those. Uh, English Players Young Player of the Year, England Player of the Year twice, European Golden Shoe third place, won the European uh, Europa League Player of the Season, also won the World Cup Golden Boot. So, if we go to his seasonal breakdown, starting off at 23-24, which is where we started simming, we can see that he actually played a decent amount of games, playing 35 and scoring 14, 34 and 16. Then it kind of starts to drop off a little bit. 32 games played, but only 9 goals. 33 games played and 8 goals. 33 and 10, 27 and 4. And the interesting thing to see here is at the top of the screen, it actually states that at this point now, he's a striker centre Midfielder centre, attacking midfielder, left or centre. So it seems that the game has decided that an out and out striker he isn't anymore. He can play coming off the wing or could even play further back in the pitch. So, current ability of 155, he has won a few trophies. What would life be like if he was to go to Bayern Munich? And luckily, I have the answer for that right here. So once again, we have now moved Harry Kane. We locked him in for five years in Germany at Bayern Munich. It's 2029. Kane is 35 years old. He's still an elite striker. This version has played 144 times for England, scoring 90 goals. And in terms of his Bayern career, he has 164 games played and 71 goals scored. Looking at the stats once again, not too much decline in terms of the technicals and mentals. But the physicals have started to drop off with pace of 9, acceleration of 8. And his current ability in this version of the player is 157. So the only important thing is, if he was to go to Germany, would he be going there to win trophies? Let's see, does he get a bigger trophy haul and medal collection than he would have done at Tottenham? 
And the answer, of course, is yes. So he has built up a phenomenal record of 17 competition wins, and they are all in Germany. So, Bundesliga, six times league champion now for Harry Kane. Champions League twice, 24 and 28. Super Cup, 24 and 28. DFB Pokal and the German Super Cup six times. So it shows Harry Kane goes to Germany. He's going to win trophies. And I think that is a big thing that is playing in his mind. He's getting to the age now where he has to make the right choice for the latter part of his career. And I think if he was to go to Bayern Munich, it would be an absolute dream come true uh, in terms of a partnership for both club and player. If we go to his seasonal stats and break them down, uh, it didn't actually do spectacularly in Germany. But you can see at the top of the screen, striker centre, attacking midfielder left, so no midfield games for uh, Bayern Munich. But 27 games, 14 goals, 26 games, 13 goals, 22 games, 11 goals, 20 appearances, 9 goals, 23 and 7, 14 and 4. Shows that Harry Kane might have actually had more competition for places at Bayern Munich than at Tottenham, which is quite interesting because it means that he's played less games, but he has scored a decent amount of goals. Have any of those been down to injuries? Let's have a look. So he has had sports hernia, torn wrist ligaments, hip injury, and three major injuries to bring us up to date were sports hernia. In fact, two sports hernias in 28 and 29, and then a hip injury. So he has actually missed 14 weeks of football in the build-up to this video being made. Overall, though, Harry Kane, I think when you look at it this way, if he can go to Germany and win six league winners' medals, two Champions League medals, two Super Cup medals to win the DFB Pokal and the German Super Cup, you're going to jump at the chance. You know that Bayern Munich are an elite team. OK, maybe not to the level of Manchester City, Real Madrid, but they are a team that is going to be challenging those teams if on their day they turn up and adding Harry Kane to that team really would be a recipe for success, I firmly believe. So for me, I think Harry Kane should want to go to Germany. Right then, if you're with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I would be eternally grateful. Cannot thank you all enough for making the channel grow across the past couple of months. Really, really is a pleasure to watch. Before you go, don't forget there are other things on the channel. Let's Plays, Wonder Kids, Hints, Tips, Tutorials, Bits of Something for everybody. For this video, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. See you on another one very soon.